Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing my March favorites for you guys, and I was debating whether I should even do one because I feel like I'm so late and it's like already middle of April. But I just think you know it's better um, late than never because I know most of you guys really like my, my monthly favorites. And month I honestly don't have much. I only have a few things to show you guys, and most of them are just drugstore products. So I guess it's a good thing. Alright, so let's get started. I don't have um, a lot of high-end products as my favorite this month, but there's two lip products that I absolutely adore. And actually, I'm going to start with my first lip products that I am obsessed over, and I don't think I ever use a lipstick every single day with the same color. This by far is the best lipstick I ever put on my lips and when I say that I really really meant it. Lipstick is just I don't know I, I wish I could have tried it sooner and for most of you guys probably wonder okay it's just a lipstick how great can it be and as for me I love lipstick and I try lipstick from drugstore to high-end products and I know which lipstick work for me which lipstick doesn't um, look great for me or which lipstick does not make me pills or chaps up my lips and stuff so by far this is the best lipstick I ever put on my um, lips is because it's just so moisturizing and let me tell you what lipstick it is before you guys wonder like okay she's rambling on but she's not telling us what lipstick it is and this is my first first girl lane lipstick I think this is how you call it, Guerlain Guerlain I don't know but this is my first Guerlain lipstick and this is called Guerlain uh, I believe it's a Rouge Automatic lipstick and this is just amazing I love the packaging as you can tell the packaging is just super sleek I thought it would be heavy but it's very light you can't actually feel it at all but one thing I love about this lipstick is the unique of the packaging how there's no cap or anything all you need to do is just press pull this trigger down and then it go the lipstick go up just like <coughs> excuse me just like um, how a lighter would and then you just push it up and close it See, I love it because I think it's just so fun because I, I sit down um, when I get bored or whatever I play with my lipstick and I just do this it's, it keep me entertained but the smell is absolutely amazing I love 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 scented products I don't mind scented but some scents can just make you feel very nauseous and just feel you know give you a headache and stuff but this smell amazing it's like a rose scented lipstick as you can tell i never use a lipstick as much as this lipstick ever i can tell because i dented it so much because i use this every single day when i say that it means i don't really care for applying makeup and stuff i can't really care less but i apply this lipstick every day for work for school for everything i just love this lipstick and especially the color that i picked out this is number 101 I don't remember the name because they they don't have the name um, on the packaging itself. They have it on the box, so I don't really remember the name. But you can search them up on Sephora because I got this at Sephora. This thing worth the thirty four dollars. Honestly, I do own a lot of high end lip products that is like thirty to thirty four dollars. But this by far is the best thirty four dollar I ever invest in, and I definitely recommend this to everyone. I don't know if it's because of my lips, but I heard great review. This thing melts on your lips, okay? This lipstick that I put on is very moisturizing, but this lipstick in particular, when I put it on, it melts onto my lips. And it's like I don't have to use a chapstick or like lip balm or anything because it feels so moisturizing. It filled in all the cracks or anything or dry patches on my lips that just, it's like a healing balm like in it itself for me I don't know why when I apply this I don't need any chapstick I don't need any lip balm it's just keep my lips moisturizing and it lasts for a long time the color stare even if after I eat and stuff it's not like a long lasting lipstick but it stay there for a while I don't have to keep on reapplying the color is beautiful honestly if you're looking for a high-end lipstick to purchase I definitely recommend this lipstick give it a try and maybe it work for you or maybe it don't but honestly I feel like this lipstick will work for everyone it's just I want to collect more I did um, bought another one 
it's in a different colors but I, I show you guys I'm not those colors in um, my massive collective haul but by far this is the best lipstick I use this like rigid, religiously throughout the whole month of March when I bought it I just love it the next concealer would be the two uh, L'Oreal two match concealer and my shade is in warm I got the same sh um, shade range as my uh, the foundation and you guys know that the foundation was in my February favorites I love the foundation is by far the best drugstore foundation that I use is the true match um, by L'Oreal so I, I figure I pick up the concealer as well and I do like it um, I use it for like highlight I use it for my under eyes and stuff and it's just um, it's brightening up my eyes really well it has that it's not as like a full coverage but it does cover really well especially for my under eyes so I really recommend this it's just perfect with um, going with the foundation um, itself so love love this so the next two prizes by Milani and they are pretty new um, especially the one I'm showing you soon and the first one would be the liquify um, eye and you guys know that like a lot of youtubers obsessed with their um, the black eyeliners the liquify one because of how soft it is and I love use I love it too and I use it too but they're not the best for me because this much is really badly um, on my eyes because my eyes are really oily so I, I use it but it's not really by far my best but this one is the brown one and I honestly don't use brown liner at all this is my first brown <laughs> eyeliner for some reason I don't I just feel like what's the point of using brown liner then instead of using the black liner as every day but then I just picked this up and when I use it I feel like because it's just look more softer and make your looks like certain look don't look too dramatic especially for daytime so I've been using this a lot especially when for my daytime look and stuff I use this as my waterline and stuff it just look it just calm like my eyes makeup down a little so I really enjoying this it does much as well but I just enjoy the fact the colors it's just really nice um, going with my you know eye makeup and my skin tone so I really like this and this is in brown number five and that's how it look like you know they how soft they are how like pigmented they are and how easily they glide on so I like that but I hate the fact that I have to sharpen constantly because they're so um soft that's why all right the next one is <coughs> I tech extreme liquify no liquid eyeliner and this is in 01 black is black and it's by Milani as well this is a liquid eyeliner like I said I love this I love the felt tip I just love how easy it if um, glide on to like my skin and stuff or when I apply I just love the fact how it pointy and how stiff it is it's just easily to control and I can draw like an, a wing line without you know messing it up and stuff and just give me a sharp edge so I really really enjoy this and it's really pigmented it does not um how I say it, it does not fade and I, I just love it I, drugstore li uh, liquid eyeliner I really like this one I think I like this more than the uh, Maybelline Master Drama um, liquid liner like I said so I think this is by far one of the best one other than my L'Oreal Linear Intense so the next face product would be NYC smooth skin bronzing a uh, face powder so it's a bronzer and it's in sunny and I know most of you guys almost almost everyone own this and that's how it look like I use this before way 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 before I even started YouTube and then I guess it just I don't know why I can't use it anymore it doesn't come um, the color doesn't come out anymore for me so I never really picked it up and use it again it's just a really really nice bronzer It's not over the top you don't have to worry that you apply um, a lot it's, and I love the fact that it's matte because you guys know how much I love matte products so I decided to pick it up and it's really hard to find because like it's always sold out and for the fact the price is just amazing it's only $2.99 and now I know why it's a lot of people favorite because I think the color work really well for almost every skin tone and especially for the price and stuff and how wonderful it is to apply it on I think it's just worth it so if you want me to recommend um, what is it 
a affordable drugstore bronzer, I would definitely recommend this one beside the Milani one. So I really like this. It's just it worked really nice, and I have it on today um, with my Chanel uh, Solid de Tan bronzer as well. I hope I'm not too um, orange in the camera because of the lighting. Anywho, all right. So the last beauty product stuff is would be brushes and I love this brushes I've been enjoying them this past um, month of March I love them and they are, are from Eco Tools and I so the first one I picked up is this bronzing powder and is I love the fact how dense it is and stuff but this brush itself is claimed to be a bronzer brush but honestly this is way too big to be a bronzer brush so I use this as my um what is it liquid foundation brush I use it as a foundation brush and as a powder brush because I feel like it's just so dense enough and it's blend really nicely I use this with liquid foundation I use this with powder and it's just make my skin look flawless so and thank you so much to Chelsea she have she also have a YouTube channel and I love and adore her videos it's just I don't know I just love her I think she's beautiful and her screen name I believe is close to real so check her out I'll try to link her channel down below but I love her and because of her I picked this up and I actually love it and I don't I believe she didn't use this in her um and I believe she mentioned this in her March favorite or her haul or whatever. But she does enjoy this a lot. And especially she used this for her powder foundation. And it looked like absolutely flawless on her when she applied um, with this brush. So check her video out. And the last two brushes, like I said, is also from Eco 2. And I love them. This one is a, <coughs> it's a foundation brush. It's a synthetic um, foundation um, brush. This shape is kind of weird it does kind of make me think of um sephora brushes but i like this because i like to dot like on my foundation before i blend it out and it's just give really nice um easy for me to blend out all my foundation or especially the the pointy tip i use this as like for my concealers and stuff so I really like this It's blend out really nicely and the one thing I love about this is because it's a travel size so it's just perfect I could just put it in my makeup bag and use it when I need it and stuff so it's just like very sanitized for me so alright so the last brush will be the blush brush and I love 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 this brush because it's really dense very very um, what is it um soft and I love the fact that it's flat headed and how it's just no um, taper out. It's really nice um, for me to use this contour um, on my face or the other side of my nose. And I use this as my blush, but I mainly use this for um, bronzer because I think it just works really nicely, especially when I just want to go really well into the um, hollow of my cheeks. It's just perfect. I love, love this. And definitely check out Eco Tools Brush if you can. They are. Um, they have it in most drugstore. I got mine at Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, I know Walgreens have it, CVS have it. So check them out. They're they're quite pricey, but I feel like they're worth it because um, their brushes don't shed on me. I washed them a few times already, and it's still it's staying their um, original shape. And I just love how it feels, and it haven't shed at all for me. So it's, I recommend them um, for you guys, or especially for those of you who just try um, start to use makeup and don't want to go and purchase a high end or Mac brushes. So definitely check out Eco Tools. They are great brushes. All right, so those are all my beauty. Um, products and stuff my random favorite my first random favorite would be my sunglasses and I love 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 my sunglasses I honestly did I show this in my previous one I don't think so but this is my newest one and I love I don't wear glasses like sunglasses as much as I like because every time I wear sunglasses I have to have my um prescription like prescriptive um, lenses on like my contact lenses on because I can't wear them without my contact lenses and especially every day I wear my prescripted um, glasses so it's just gonna be very hectic for me to wear sunglasses so I only wear sunglasses when I have my lenses in but I just love collecting them and this is my newest edition and this one is how I look like I love love them they are adorable I just think it's so cute um, me and my mom pick up the same exact frame but mine is in like a cheetah leopard like brownish print as mom it's just um all black and this is the ray-ban 
Wayfair, I think that's how you call it. I got mine at Lens Crafter. I always got my lenses from Lens Crafter. Um, my glasses and stuff. I've been, I've been getting all my frames and my lenses done there for years and years now. I just love them. They have like the best like frame, especially high ends and stuff. They're just amazing. And the price and the deals is pretty nice. So. I love love this frame. It just sit really on my face really nicely. It doesn't crease on my face anything, leave any mark and stuff. Just love how it fit and think it's just really in um it's really in at the moment. So love love this. And then the next um random thing will be my shoes. I'm uh, not really shoes, flats. I like my favorite color for the past for this past March would be orange. I, I see orange everywhere and I, I love it. I even wear orange eyeshadows. I show you guys in one of the look before and especially my flats. I love love them. Look how cute they are. Oh my god they're dirty. I don't want oh okay let me show you. Oh my god I don't want to drop them. Okay they are so so cute. I love love and adorable uh, adore I can't even talk. I love and adore them so much and my first one would be this one and this is from Michael Kors. I am a huge fan of Michael Kors and I love their flats. They're very comfortable. I own a few pairs of them so I know how they are. They're definitely not on like, they are on a pricey side but they <coughs> not like you know super super like um, expensive that you can afford. Definitely if you want to get a nice pair of flats and comfortable and stuff check out my course because they have the, some of the best one and this is just super super cute tell me it's not I love the um, the detail of the uh, key and stuff and the lock I love love this color and there's a little um for those of you who don't like like straight up flat on the crown flat this is just really nice give you a little um like half of an inch um height right here so that it's just perfect and it's, they are super comfortable. I love them. I got so much compliment on them when I post a picture of the, like, the outfit of the day for you guys. And you guys asked um, where this flats is from. So I love, love them and it's orange. And the next one will be um, another flats and it's also orange and I love, love. And I haven't really wear this in two um, this year. I got this um, a while back, long, long time ago. And this is um, by, um, what is it, Dolce & Cabana. And this is, oh my god, the bottom is looks so dirty. I'm so sorry. But I love them. This is a little bit bigger. But this is number, um, this is size 37. But it fit me perfectly. I, I just love how it fit me. It doesn't tug in and it just doesn't, um, you know, what is it? Uh, give me blister at all and this is made um, in Italy I love and adore them so much they're very simple they're nothing crazy but I just love the fact that they the, the pop of colors and how comfy they are is just worth it so that wrapped up my March favorite I hope you guys enjoy my March favorite I know it's not much beauty products but I hope I give you in-depth um, on most of the products and stuff. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. You want quicker answer? You want quicker um, response? You know where to find me. Twitter, Facebook is always the fastest way. And that is it. I'll see you guys in my next videos and.